Welcome back to my channel, Math and Language, and we're going to discuss how to convert Fahrenheit to Kelvin. So, ang formula para mag-convert ng Fahrenheit to Kelvin is like this. I mo minus 132, yung given of Fahrenheit. Mo multiply mo siya ng 5, di divide mo ng 9, at yung sagot, mo plus mo ng 273.15. Sa iba, pwedeng 273 na, kaso I'm giving you the exact one, 273.15. So without further ado, let's try the yung sa example na to. Paano pag 212 degrees Fahrenheit kagawin mo siyang Kelvin? It will be like this. So let's start. So mas maganda pag ganyan, tanggalin mo muna yung Fahrenheit para hindi ka na masyadong malito. 212 mo minus man ng 32. So that will be around 180. Okay? Ngayon, yung yung 180 na yan Okay, 180, multiply mo ng 5. Sitting, di ba? Multiply mo ng 5, that will be 900. At yung 900 na yan, divide mo ng 9. And that will be 100. And yung 100, plus mo ng 273.15. 100 plus 273. 3.15 and the answer will be 373.15. At syempre, lagi mo yung Kelvin. Yan. Dan mo pag Kelvin, walang, hindi siya ganito ha? Walang ganyan. Walang degrees or something. Kelvin lang. Kasi K lang. So madali lang siya. Okay. Uh, summer, uh, sum, summarize natin. 212. Mo minus 1 ng 32. Ito yun. So 180. Yung 180, mo multiply mo ng 5. 900. So, tapos yung 900, divide mo ng 9. Yung sagot, 100. Tapos yung sagot yan, na-add mo ng 273.2. Step by step. Ngayon, paano naman kung 50? So, same lang din. Tanggalin mo muna yung Fahrenheit para hindi ka malito. So, 50 minus 32, that will be 18. Tapos, kuha tayo ng ibang guy. 18 times mo ng 5. That will be 90. Okay? Yung 90, di divide natin siya ng, ng 9. That will be 10. At mag a tayo ng 273.15. At ang final answer will be 283.15. At lagi min Kelvin. Symbol ng Kelvin. K lang. K. Okay? So that's the end of the lesson on how to convert Fahrenheit to Kelvin. If you have questions, comment down kayo, suggestions, or comment, please comment down. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe, and also click nyo na rin yung bell notification para updated kayo sa bagong videos ng math and language. Maraming salamat po. Please support educational content. See you. Bye.